Um, thanks for watching this presentation. We're going to be going over Giving Day. My name is Alicia Pettis, and I am the Young Alumni Program Manager. And I'm Gretchen Armstrong. I'm one of the Assistant Directors of Annual Giving. I want to start um, by addressing why giving to JNU is important. Um, so there's a statement that we really like to use, and that's that the best public universities have the best private support. And we're at the higher ed landscape right now. State funding is going down to public universities, but JNU is doing a great job of trying to keep tuition low so that we can make sure that the Madison experience is affordable to anyone who wants to be here. Um, but then we see that there's this gap that's happening. We need to make sure that we have private support to fill that gap, that is scholarships um, for recruitment, for merit, um, for need, that is faculty support to make sure that they are able to create great undergraduate research experience for students, um, that is for the endowment, that is for the multiple needs of this university to make sure that JMU truly is the best public university that we have and the best experience that we all know it to be. So that giving is important and that's why we are putting on this day. This is JMU Giving Day. JMU Giving Day is going to be a 24-hour online fundraising event, and we're going out to the entire JMU family. So that's everyone from alumni, faculty, staff, students, parents, and friends. And we're just offering the chance to come together to make giving fun and exciting and have it just on one day. And it's going to be Tuesday, March 15th, so that's a giant two weeks away. Our donor goal is 568 donors, which stands for um, JMU on your telephone keypad. To a little bit more context, to wrap that number, not only is it that we want to make it fun, but we look historically back in the month of March to see an average day, how many donors do we bring in, and then we wanted a stretch goal for us. So that's why we chose 568. So hold a giving day. Um, giving days are very popular in the higher ed world nowadays. Um, they're just a great way, again, to spread the excitement about giving back, help people understand why giving back to a public institution is so important. Um, many institutions have been very successful year after year. So um, a lot of institutions, their first year start with a low donor goal, and they blow that out of the water for both dollars and donors. So it's really a great opportunity for donor participation, get many new donors acquired, um, because there's a lot of buzz. There's a lot more buzz happening on the day than just a general um, you know, giving appeal that we would send out. So there's just a lot happening around Giving Day, and this is a big, exciting campaign for us. It also builds pride in JMU. So everyone loves JMU. We really want to see this place continue to succeed uh, and just the success of our students and the wonderful faculty and staff that we also have here uh, and our alumni. And so we just want to continue to build that pride that we have in JMU. And it really does involve everyone, all our constituents of the university. So really the JMU family. Everyone can have fun giving day um, and just and it makes giving fun. And then, because online is such a um, prime location these days, it allows us to have an online focus for giving, um, which we've never had before. So that's another reason. There's so many other reasons why we're doing a giving day, but these are just some of the main reasons. So listening to this presentation, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with insider knowledge about this huge day that's coming up. And only we want you all to be resources for other alumni or other constituents that are looking to get involved or just know more about this day. Um, then we would like you all to become online ambassadors, which we'll talk more about, about how you do that, and then ultimately recruit others to do the same. And then for anyone who's an official account, like an official chapter account, uh, we have some uh, information later on about how we want you all to run and share the messages that we're looking for. So when you give, um, in your giving, we have five specific priorities, and those are the primary ones that we're putting on giving day. However, we do have a total of 13 funds available to give you. So the priority funds in annual giving this year are the Madison Vision Fund, which is a general unrestricted fund in 
to support the university's most immediate needs. Have the athletic fund so that supports everything in the athletic world from scholarships um, to their general support of the athletic programs. Our Madison Forever Scholarship, we're really trying to go grow our scholarship support here and offer more scholarships to our students. The Success Fund uh, that helps us retain the best study, but also, more importantly, all those hands-on learning experiences that our students are looking for. And then the Madison Endowment. So we're trying to grow the Madison Endowment to $100 million by 2020. We're just at $82 million right now, and this fund offers um, annual giving donors to support that growth. And we're offering um, the other funds for, uh, that are available are the seven different college funds, and the honors program is also available to give to you on gift day. So our theme is Madison's Treasure. The thought came from National Treasure, the movie. Again, we want to make giving fun, so we're trying to find a creative way to spur excitement about giving and, again, just giving and, and spur fun. Ah, can you pull? Can we? Madison's Treasure is really what makes GNU and the Madison experience what it is. Our faculty, staff, and students, and our alumni doing successful things out in the world. Um, so that's really what Madison's Treasure is, is everything that makes up the Madison experience. I'm going to see the website and the video, which recently launched. Here is the website, and the way is givingday.jmu.edu. As you can see, it is basically um, prepped for the countdown and for building up to this day. So all we're focused on is the countdown days, and then getting people excited and understanding what's going on. Um, so when the actual day happens, this will look a little bit different. We will have a little countdown section right here, or a uh, donor ticker uh, right here that's going to show how many donors have given, how many dollars have come in, and that good stuff. Um, if anyone has any questions about this website, they can go to our FAQ, which has more information going on, especially if someone asks you a question and you don't know what it is, most likely, hopefully, it will be here. The main thing we want to show you right now is our awesome video. I always want to like run a marathon or do something really exciting after watching that. Um, it's really to build the excitement and kind of get people questioning, well, what is this day? What is happening on March 15, 2016? Um, so it's just kind of a preview for more that has to come. And so we thought it's really going to do a great job at um, the excitement. We have events happening on Giving Day. We have some on-campus events for excitement. Um, on campus, get the buzz going about what Giving Day is, why we're doing it. Um, so I'll quickly, touch on a few of the events we have here on campus, and we're also focusing on our alumni chapters and really getting the buzz out in the community outside of the JNU community. Um, we're having an advancement roadshow, and that's really to get the face of the advancement step out um, onto the campus and sharing coffee and donuts, and really just talking about what Giving Day is and how anyone can be involved. Along with that, we have Roving Jimmy, and he's just basically a guy dressed up as James Madison, going around talking about today, um, again, ways to be involved. We have interactive giving stations to engage our students and any faculty and staff that walk by um, in presentations across campus. We have a photo booth, just a fun to have Duke Dog there, take your photo with Duke Dog. We're doing a t-shirt giveaway at Bridgeport Stadium. And then we're doing a stewardship event, which will be Madison's birthday bash and the club level of Bridgeport Stadium. And that's really 
it just to celebrate the success of the day and also all of our donors on the day. We have nine chapter events. So those chapters are excited to share the word about Giving Day and just really, again, to have that excitement, not really here on campus, but to feel out in each of the alumni chapters. And so these are the six chapters that are excited and sharing the word about Giving Day. So if you are in one of these local areas, I would encourage you to definitely attend, um, feel the excitement of Giving Day, bring a friend or two, um, and just celebrate Giving Day with us from afar. So, uh, challenge gifts are just one way for us to um, buy giving, make giving fun, and also to get our academic units bought in and excited about this idea, and then spreading our message as well. Um, so, as a donor, you have the opportunity to self-identify with an area on campus that you are most closely as an affinity. Um, you'll help them win extra money. And so it's just an extra incentive to help us increase participation across the board. So some of these challenges, we have um, generous donors who are excited and willing to support a day. And so one of which on the day um, is helping us to achieve our 160 donor goal. So when we achieve that goal, um, that donation will be unlocked. And so it's going to help us keep pushing the message out to get people to give throughout the day. And we'll be provide updates on where we stand. The other is our hourly challenges. So as a donor, um, at midnight, for example, if you want to be the first donor and you are a school nursing major, you will self-select that that's how you um, affiliate with JMU. And, and that school will be the one who wins the prize money. So the same for the hourly challenges throughout the day. From 9 to 10, the most donors, whichever academic unit has the most donors in the hour, will win that challenge money. The other is our participation challenge. So this example is based on our 568 year goal. So for example, the School of Engineering, if they were 176 donors, that 30.9% participation rate. So out of the total challenge money that we have, they would be awarded 30.9% of that total challenge money. So exactly what you should do on giving day. And we boiled it down to five top things. The first is to make your own gift. Um, all are our greatest insiders um, and influencers. We want to make sure that you all are also um, you know, you're only talking about giving day, but you're actually making a gift on the day. And so uh, a little bit about um, what kind of gifts to make. Um, so again, you can only make it to those funds we mentioned before. Our minimum dollar amount is $5. And the other thing is that you can make multiple donations throughout the day. So if you identify with an area that's having a certain challenge, you can give $5 then and then $5 later. Um, there's really no limit on how much you can give or how many times you can give, um, but we just want to make sure you're at least making one gift on that day. And then shout out to everyone else. Next, we will have you all be online ambassadors and sign up through our Jamie social program, um, which we'll be talking about later on. But basically, this allows us to create that social media and online buzz that we keep talking about to make sure that Giving Day is happening all over the world and not just on this campus. And then like you're retweeting other people's posts, so if someone's posting about Giving Day, maybe they're a person in your network that you went to school with and you know is not that engaged as an alum, like it, retweet it, make sure they feel good about them sharing the message, and then just bolstering the um, excitement and the feeling that everyone who is a chance for Giving Day is feeling on that day. Um, then we want you all to tell 10 friends about Giving Day through text, email, or phone calls. Then a more personal way to reach out and say, hey, I've made a gift. I'd really like you to make a gift. And maybe they have seen the buzz, but they still don't understand what's going on. That's very possible, and they don't want to go to the website to look and see what we're talking about. Um, you can answer those questions for them. Um, and then, two, it's just an extra way um, and another touch for them to have a reason to give. And then, finally, we want you all to go to the events in your area and bring a friend or two along. So if it's 
5 o'clock and you're getting off of work and you know that there is an alum who's in your office who maybe isn't that engaged or, you know, maybe didn't give, um, maybe didn't give to JMU, it's a great way to get them engaged and bring them out to a fun event and let them know what's going on. The online ambassadors program, which we just launched in early February, and we're really excited about it. And so the program and the platform is called JMU Social. And it basically allows us to share the content and messages that um, JMU is pushing to our online ambassadors, so that anyone who signs up. And it allows basically for us to use a more peer-to-peer -peer strategy with getting the message out. So when a JMU account can share um, a post and then you can share from there, it allows us to push very specific messaging, very specific messaging to you. It also allows us to make um, posting on social media and being an influencer more fun and also allows you to see the kind of influence that you're having. So how many people are liking your posts, how many people are retweeting your stuff, and what that add up to when we're talking about influencing JMU constituents. It's really simple, and you can do this right now on your computer if you'd like. All you have to do is go to jane.edu backslash social, and you'll come to a page like this. And you can stand with either Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook. And on that, it's going to be to another page, whether Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook. And you're going to end with your account information, so your username, your password. Then there, it will know what your first name, your last name, and your email address is. But it'll ask you to describe um, who you are at the university. And most likely, if you're listening to this, I'm going to guess you're um, an alum of some sort. So you can click there, and then it'll ask you to um, allow this platform to share through the Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook account. It'll ask you to connect all the other accounts, which we'd love for you to do so that your message is being shared through all your networks, because you probably have different connections on LinkedIn than you might have on Instagram or on Facebook. That is that you actually don't have to log back in ever to Jamie Social if you don't want to. Because what you can then do is push um, the content to your email inbox. The email that looks something like this, and it allows you to, um, when you're clicking on the share button, share directly to all the accounts you have linked. Um, so it's really simple, and it just streamlines, um, streamlines messaging and streamlines marketing, so that everyone knows what's going on and everyone's seeing it, and it creates a really big buzz that a lot of people are sharing. If people are um, liking your posts, you're bringing friends to join Jamie Social, you can earn points. And so we have um, a little descriptor on the site that shows you how to earn the points. There's all badges you can earn, so how many times you log back in, how many people you recruit. Um, that will add up, and it's kind of exciting because it sends one to your email inbox, but every time you log back in, it seems like you've done a bunch of work by recruiting, you know, two friends to join. So it's like what um, you're actually accomplishing. The leaderboard, you really create that competition um, between everyone. So this is the leaderboard, I think, from uh, earlier this week. But I can see people have certain amounts of points, and they come higher on there. Uh, so recruiting a friend is the highest point. Um, so that's a really great way to get higher on the leaderboard. And it's just really exciting to see, you know, who are Jamie's biggest influencers? Who's making a big splash? We'd love to see a lot of you all on there. You can win prizes. We have prize packs um, from the bookstore, and Gretchen wants to talk more about that. Sure. We have two $150 Jamie prize packs with some of us have Jamie's swag. And Cornelia, we have, uh, we were running two kind of challenges or competitions. One will start next week, and then we'll have one on Giving Day. And so the more you're sharing and um, spurred, the more likely you are to win one of those prize packs. So just another this from Gamify, um, Giving Day, Gamify being an online ambassador. Outside of Jamie's social, we also have a link, a um, bit.ly link to some assets that include profile photos, cover photos, and images you can share on Instagram. And this just allows you to um, have certain content that you can share um, and really make sure that your profile screens giving day. 
Um, of course, we always want to be sure that um, if you are trying to earn points, that you're going through Jamie's social. So if you're logging into Facebook and you are posting something and you're including a hashtag, Jamie Giving Day, you will not receive points to Jamie Social. Um, that's a clear distinction there. Um, so it is a good idea to log in if you want to share something specific, but otherwise we always want you to be using that hashtag and of course driving to the website, giving Jamie to EDU because that is ultimately where we want people to go because that's where people will make their gifts. Um, of course, this is a great part for the official accounts to take note of. So the giving day assets, the profile photos, you can definitely use those um, and make sure that your account is decked out in giving day. Examples of um, the images that we're talking about, a nice cover photo, a nice profile photo um, that looks exciting and kind of um, streamlines uh, what's going on. And for official accounts, again, um, if you have not uh, received an email from me about this, um, please email me. But basically, we don't want you all to use the um, Jamie Social program. Because Jamie Social is meant for individual influencers and not for official accounts. Official accounts have much larger networks and different um, and a different feel to them. And we don't want you all to be um, hogging the leaderboard because you have a larger network. What we're asking you all to do is to basically, when you see the JMU official account, sharing things on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, and just share that or retweet that directly from Facebook or Twitter platforms and not through Jamie Social. Um, and so what I've been doing is I created an email chain of all the social media coordinators um, to know when information is going out so that they know that they should be on Facebook and share what Jamie has just posted. And definitely use the access. Really exciting, and, and I know it's only 12 days, and it kind of feels like Christmas. Um, but there are some things you can do now. Uh, we want you all to first off uh, sign up through Jamie Social to become the online ambassador that we need you all to be on that day. Um, and next week we're going to be starting a contest, and that contest is to um, recruit as many people as possible to join. So um, once you sign up through there, we'll be able to send you content through um, email, so you don't have to think about it or be as consciously aware of what's going on. Uh, of course, share the content through Jamie Social and continue to wrap up those points and make sure you're getting higher on the leaderboard. Um, and then telling your networks about Giving Day, so sharing information that you have. We just gave you a whole lot of information that not a lot of people know. Um, so if you want to share with people that our goal is 568, and that stands for JMU, we would love that. Um, share what you can um, and make sure that people really know what's going on. So the recorded webinar, we don't have uh, time for questions, but if you do have any questions, you can email me. My name is Alicia Pettis, and you can email me at Pettis. P -E -T -T -I -S -A -M is in Marie at jamie.edu. You can also um, Google me if you didn't quite get that email. Um, but I'm, I will be sure to answer your question. Make sure that you um, know as much about what's going on as anyone else. And thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this webinar. Thanks.